Hello my dear friends of electronics, my name is Lauren Ferkel and in this video I want to show you the DC bias influence of the capacity which I measured in my previous video which I recommend to watch it and I want to show what happened to the capacity when you apply a DC bias voltage load. So in fact when you are building a LC filter and you simulate in the LT spice which is a free software just the ideal L and C component you may have a graph which is actually quite very nice and, and looks great but this is not possible to build it because every component have parasitics and for this reason I recommend to use in LT spice the models of the real components like for a chip bit ferrites you will find all the virtual electronics libraries and also for capacity you can download from our website and load it to the LT spice. First of all, we will simulate with a zero DC volt to see the comparison between the ideal and the real LC filter. And then we will apply 10 volt and 25 volt. But where to get these DC BIOS uh, voltage uh, values? Well, for this reason, I would recommend go to our website, to the Red Expert software, and you will find in the Red Expert all these values which you are looking for. So now you will see here, I will change now the language English because it's better maybe for English speaker, speaking people. Now you can see at 10 volt, you may have a delta C drop of 47.2%. Now because my capacity, it is a 10 microfarad capacity at 10 of, of 10 volt uh, DC bias voltage, it will drop to 5.28% microfarad and you can see that the model it's not the ideal model you have all this ASL and ASR values which again you can take from the red expert when you are going to the 25 volt application if you have an output voltage like 25 volt and you want to apply this capacity then you can change here in a red expert you can put 25 volt which is the maximum voltage of that and you will see in the graph oh my god there's no 25 volt graph anymore well and the graph is showing only a drop to 50%, but the value it is included and you can read from this table and you can see and that value of 25 volt, you may have only 82.1% of the drop of the initial value. So from 10 microfarad, it will be less and it will be 1.79 microfarad only. And all this you can see now very nice in this graph. So the green one, it's an ideal LC with no parasitics. The dark blue one, it is with parasitics with zero DC bias volt. With the red one, you can see the 10 volt DC bias dependency. You may see already here is a drop from uh, quite remarkable. The maximum point of the resonant point, it's a little bit shifted, but at 25 volt, it is almost a green, blue color. You can see here, that we will have a massive loss of the capacity value and your filter application will be in that in your application a little bit different like you did expect so i always recommend please in your in simulation use this value and simulate the real lc filter which will be acting like that because we did measure it and it is true so make no sense to just use idle components I hope you enjoy it and please watch my next video. See you next time. Bye bye.